Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is a bonus video where I discuss a demo that I played. You can probably guess what demo it is. It's Resident Evil 3. The demo just dropped today, and I got to play it, and I gotta say, the story is exactly what you think. It's Resident Evil. Specifically Resident Evil 3, where, you know, Raccoon City has begun to fall apart. The demo puts you, I don't know how far into the game, but obviously not at the very start. You've already met Carlos, he has introduced you to his boss, and you are tasked with helping them get a subway train started so that they can evac some civilians. Obviously, it's not going to be that simple because, well, Resident Evil and the town's gone to shit. So there are zombies and obviously at one point, everybody knows this is coming in the demo at some point, you run into the nemesis. And there's not really much to judge the story by here because obviously it's not even a fraction of the story. Let's get into the audio with the voiceover work which I gotta say is very good and it's nowhere near as cheesy and corny as the original game but that's not that surprising because the original game came out in like the 90s and voiceover was still a fairly new thing in video games. As for the sound effects, the sound effects are really good in this game. You can hear all the different noises in the city that really do make it sound like everything has just gone to hell. But beyond that, there's a variety of zombie sounds, there's good gun sounds, there's a variety of footstep sounds, which is silly, but that does add a level of realism. As for the gameplay mechanics, it does feel a lot like the Resident Evil 2 remake in that it's over-the-shoulder, third-person action shooter kind of thing, but this is clearly more action-oriented. Which, I mean, we all kind of expected because Resident Evil 3, the original, was when they made that shift. You have a dodge mechanic, which I really didn't figure out, and it's mostly because I'm just not used to the concept of there being a dodge mechanic in Resident Evil. That's a relatively new thing, especially since there wasn't one in the last remake. But I did use it successfully a couple times near the end when I finally started to get the hang of it. I will say that I think they need to give you a few more item slots though. That kind of sucked. It felt like they were struggling to strike a balance between the survival horror and the action side of things. Because, you know, classic survival horror is all about inventory management, ammo, health, etc. And, you know, a more action-oriented game, you need more ammo and health. You need more slots to carry the ammo and health. So we'll see what that looks like in the actual game when that comes around. As for the controls, I like the controls. I feel like the movement is very good and I feel like the controls are responsive. The one thing I will probably do when playing the regular game is tone down the uh, sensitivity of the aiming. I found that the base setting is very twitchy and it's something that you may need to experiment with. When I say twitchy, I don't really mean twitchy. I mean the sensitivity is very sensitive. So minor movements will make large changes to where you're aiming. But otherwise, I felt the controls were good. As for the graphics, Resident Evil 3 looks just wow. I mean, Resident Evil 2 looked fantastic and Resident Evil 3 Remake looks fantastic as well. They did such a great job bringing this city that is falling apart in the midst of a zombie apocalypse to life. But beyond that, you've got all the different zombies. You've got the way Jill looks, Carlos. All of them look fantastic. There's a level of realism there that is just really astounding. I mean, it's everything. It's all the small details. It's all the larger things that you will easily notice. But then there's smaller things that you may not necessarily pay attention to immediately. Textures in the street, textures in the bricks, the way the fire looks, etc. The one complaint I do have is that, man, it is a little too dark at times. It's such a beautiful game, so hiding certain things in that level of darkness is just a shame. It's one of those things that, like, I get it, it's dark, it's spooky, it's nighttime, but still, it's like, come on, guys, I want to see how beautiful this actually is. So to wrap this up, obviously it isn't a full game that I can recommend, but I can say I enjoyed the demo and I'm pretty excited to play the entire game. Okay, so in the comments down below, why don't you tell me, did you ever play the original Resident Evil 3? And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one.